Well, here goes something. Man. 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 All right, so let me, let me, um, let me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> let me, let me start by welcoming you to uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. We, we, um, we just watched, we, we just watched an ad. We just watched a 16 minute ad, but we watched Recipe for Seduction, so you don't have to. We can tell you all about it. Um, <laughs> Jesus. So for those who are not aware, um, there was a, an, an article or something that came out a week or so ago. It said that Lifetime, the, you know, the cable channel, channel that puts out. Lifetime. I, I don't watch them, but I presume, I've, I've heard that they're, you know, there's a very specific niche audience for these things. Uh, was putting out a recipe for seduction, which, <laughs> God, is a very short, I can't emphasize that enough, very short Lifetime movie at 15 minutes um, that is sponsored by and produced in part by Kentucky Fried Chicken. So it is an ad. And the, the when I first saw this thing, I, I saw a trailer for it, I, it, I didn't know that. But like they're introducing the characters in the trailer, and one of them is uh, Harlan Sanders, and I was like, "Huh, that's weird. He looks just like Colonel Sanders." And I just kept watching the trailer, and then at the end, it was like in par with KFC, and I was like, "Oh, oh, it's a short film about KFC, but it's a Lifetime movie." Anyway, we just watched it, um, and uh, man, I can't. I can't emphasize how weird it is. It is so weird to watch a romance thing that happens in 15 minutes because there is not enough time to establish characters and motivation at all. It just is impossible because the, the beginning setup is, oh, uh, our, our family is going to be poor unless you marry this rich man. And then the rich man proposes to the girl, and the girl is like, I have to think about it. And her mom's really pissed, because she's like, you've got to marry this guy. This is how we're going to get rich. But then the next day, she meets the chef, who is Mario Lopez, who, by the way, looks completely, he looks like he's made of plastic in the film. It's very strange. He looks like a plastic man. Meets the, meets the cook, Mario Lopez, and immediately just, like, falls in love with him. And then is talking to her friend on the phone, and she's like, I think I'm falling for this guy. And I'm like... And he has a secret recipe that's going to change the world. Which is what, yeah, the, God, the, mm. And the thing that, the thing that's so great is like, this literally, like, there's, that's, there's only been one shot with them together. And for, for her to be like, I think I'm falling for this guy. I'm like, you've had eight seconds of screen time with him. How is that? It feels like there should be something else happening here. And we don't know if it's reciprocated. It's <laughs> maybe, maybe he's just married to the idea of chicken. You don't know. Anyway, it's it's comical because it's moving so quickly. Like this sort of. I mean, I'm overlooking the fact that this is an ad right now because that's another layer. But like. Just the fact that they're trying to squeeze this much information into 15 minutes is it's very difficult to do that in a meaningful way. And it's just very funny when, you know, she meets him one time and it's like, I'm falling for him. And like, they've literally been on, on screen together for like less than 10 seconds. So that was fun. Um, then, you know, a few antics occur and we find out that her mom has been like sleeping with the cook. No, no, no. The fiance. The rich fiance guy. Oh, oh, sorry. That's what I meant. Not the not the cook. The mom's been sleeping with the fiance guy. And uh, that's another weird layer, which is a, a weird, because he was very enthusiastic about that, which is like another weird, like, I don't know why that's a necessary plot point, but whatever. Um, that was very important to KFC, I guess. Uh, so at some point, the, the, the girl is... 
I think she's like she had. There's only three scenes with with her and him, uh, her and the colonel together. I think there's a scene where they meet, and then there's another scene where they ki they kiss because there's the the colonel has a meeting with the fiance. And the fiance writes him a check for half a million dollars, which he should have taken. What on earth? And he's like, I know you have a secret recipe. Like, and just take just take the money. It's the a half a million dollars. The colonel goes to the girl, and he's like, you shouldn't have told anyone. She's like, I didn't. So that's the second scene with them yeah. where they have they, they, they kiss. And again, this is like the second time they've ever seen each other. And then the next thing you know... They're trying to they're trying to kill the colonel, and he's locked up in a shed, which they can God, the whole thing. The she can hear him screaming from inside the, the shed, and then when she walks in, he's tied up, and then the fiance is in there. With a knife. And I'm like, well what how long has this been? Like how long have you been in there? There's also some plot holes that don't make any sense. Because um, at some point, the mom takes her daughter's phone and texts uh, Billy. The fiancé guy. The fi yeah, the fiancé guy. And it's like, I'll be there. And then later, I'm like, well, how did she not know? It's on her phone. The, the daughter should be able to see the text and be like, I didn't send that text. That's odd. I should, you know, confront the only other person in the house, my mother. And there's also... Um, the, the comical nature of the fact that the secret recipe is written on a little note that says secret recipe. It's, hmm. I don't think I've ever seen a Lifetime movie, so this may just very much be part for the course. I kind of get the feeling that it is. You haven't seen a Hallmark movie or I haven't like, seen anything yeah. like that. And it's like, oh boy. And I understand that there would be more Substance, if it was drawn out a little bit, because you could establish why there would be motivation, as opposed to I just met this man for eight seconds, and I think I love him. He likes chicken a lot, and that's the entire thing. Now, on top of that, it's yeah, it's an ad, it's an ad, and it's comical in nature. And I, I think there is some level of like self humor because like the last scene has the fiance meeting the mom who got put into a mental institution with a drumstick so he's eating a drumstick and it almost sets it up for a sequel which is wild i can't wait um but yeah if uh if you haven't seen it it's on youtube it's 16 minutes long um you haven't even mentioned any of like the film plot like not plot holes the Film oh, the film. Oh, yeah. It, it was it was rel i mean it's relatively well shot it's you know it's safe it's this, 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 this. There's, you know, there were some confusing elements. Um, the film school student in me screams a little bit whenever there were the, there were the three characters talking because it's very, it, for what it's worth, it's very hard to shoot anything that involves three characters in a, like a triangle fashion. Trying to do that in a way that's not confusing is actually really hard. Um, and they did not succeed on that front. But overall, the, you know, it, it wasn't bad. You know, the, the thing wasn't bad, but it we, I did watch a 16-minute ad for KFC tonight, and that's that's just where that's where my life is. Also, you want to know the saddest part? What? This is the closest thing I've watched to a movie since December 2018. Listen. Two you, years ago. You promised two me. Two years ago. You promised me we would watch the Hamilton musical and a Netflix Christmas movie. And uh, Breakfast Stream Chat decided that it would be a princess switch. The princess switch? I'm just saying... The princess switch My one. My point is yeah. that the last movie I, I watched was two years ago. Mm -hmm. It was the last film I watched. I watched uh, the original Star Wars trilogy for the first time with Dan and, and Will and, and Roland. And, um, you know, I enjoyed watching it. But I haven't watched a movie in two years, and the first thing I watch that resembles a movie is a dug on ad for KFC. What a time to be alive. That's it for today. If you watched this and you have opinions, say them. That's great. If you didn't watch it and you watched this, 
You all need to watch it. I told you what happened. <laughs> you know. But if you didn't watch it and you want to see it, I'll put the link to it in the description. Um, <laughs> part of me feels dirty for just propagating an ad, because it's a very blatant ad. I mean, it's a, probably an ad that has a very high production value, I guess, for what it's worth. But it's just funny. The future, Mallory. Is 16 minute shorts. Is 16 minute shorts about every brand. I can't wait to see what they do for Dr. Pepper. He was a doctor and he loved spices. How many spices? One. He kept putting the band. <laughs> no, Dr. Sp pepper. No, Just pepper. Only Dr. Pepper. Pepper's got like. Pepper. There's like. They're used Just pepper. He's putting pepper in his drink, and he's like, there's something to this. Would you like some of my home homemade Sprite? <laughs> Not till you figure out what the hell else is in it. It's lemon and Lemon and, lime. and limes. There's more to it than that. Thank you, Mitch. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Talk about this if you want, and uh, we'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>